Good Tuesday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. Plenty of moisture is still headed for Alaska, though some parts of the Alaska Peninsula are catching a little bit of a break as a ridge of high pressure pushes in to the Bristol Bay area. Low pressure sitting across the northern gulf has a trough of low pressure attached to it. And as that swings closer and closer to southeast, there will be a better chance for some rain as we head into the coming days. In the meantime, more of a focused push of rainfall across the Aleutians, the southern Bering Sea, and a much stronger storm even further west and south of Attu. Looking up to the north, areas of low clouds and rainfall across the coastal plain, warmer air trying to lift northward across the Brooks Range. In the coming days, a lot of that wetter air will meet up with colder air dropping south from the Arctic. That means a better chance for snow as we go in through tonight tomorrow and lasting through Friday, especially above 1,500 feet. Tonight's forecast shows rain and fog across the Chukchi Sea, colder air amassing across the eastern parts of Russia and Siberia. As that swings eastward, that will be the snowmaker there for parts of the Brooks Range. For areas along the lower and middle Yukon Valley, showers and rainfall still possible as we head into tonight, maybe even a few thunderstrikes. We've seen some of those already across the Seward Peninsula and some of the south-facing slopes of the Brooks Range around the Noatak and Kobuk Valleys. Showers will continue across the upper Yukon, across southwestern Alaska, and periods of moderate to occasionally heavy rain across the northern and eastern sections of southeast. In the meantime, small craft advisories are expected across the length of the Aleutians and also across northern parts of Alaska in advance of that front from Point Franklin and Cape Halkett all the way out toward Cape Thompson and Cape Beaufort. As you look out across uh, the region, the frontal boundary will drop southward through the Bering Strait and into the western part of the Seward Peninsula by late afternoon. Better chance for showers and thunderstorms moves eastward into the middle and upper Yukon Valley. Look for widely scattered storms and showers in that region. A better chance for more sustained and continuous rainfall across southwestern Alaska and becoming a little bit heavier around Prince William Sound and south central Alaska as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. Low pressures moved back into the Gulf now at 997 millibars. Look for that rain to approach from west to east into southeastern Alaska as a ridge of high pressure gives up control there. And drier air moves back into Bristol Bay after some wetter weather on Wednesday. As we look out toward Thursday again for the western part of the chain, the frontal boundary works northward toward St. Paul and St. George. And rain is expected there, crossing through Unalaska and Dutch Harbor, leading behind it with westerly winds and areas of fog expected in the southern bearing. With Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder. Get your weather anytime online at weather.gov.